What's up guys, it's Tommy here. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video showing you guys a closer look at the new iOS 14 feature, Picture in Picture. If you didn't already know, iOS 14 will be available to download this fall for anyone who has an iPhone 6s or above. That does include the iPhone SE as well. I did mention the Picture in Picture feature in my top 10 iOS 14 features video. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go ahead and check it out. I will go ahead and link it in the description below. Although I did mention this feature in that video. I believe this is one of the most game changing features in all of iOS 14 and feel it deserves its own video to showcase its amazing capabilities. Having said that, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing I wanted to show you was that you can use this feature on basically any video that you come across, including YouTube. We'll head to Safari so I can show you guys that. Let's say we want to go ahead and watch this video. Once the video begins to play, go ahead and go into full screen mode and then you'll see the picture in picture icon on the top left corner of the screen and you will be able to watch it in the background just like so. There's two ways to expand the picture in picture, you can go ahead and just pinch it and it will go ahead and expand. To make it smaller, go ahead and do the opposite and it will go ahead and shrink. You can also expand and make it smaller by double tapping it just like so. We can also hide it just by swiping it to the right side and then bring it back just by swiping it back. You can go ahead and pause and play it. You can also just go ahead and decide to hear it and then hide it but you can still hear the audio just like that. As I mentioned before, it's not just the popular websites, you can also go in to other smaller websites and do the same thing. Let's say we want to go ahead and watch this video, obviously we just got an ad. We can go ahead and hit play. It will go ahead and start playing and we can go into picture in picture as well and obviously once you're here you can go ahead and decide to do whatever you want in a different app so this does make multitasking a lot easier the last thing i want to show you guys was that this feature allows you to multitask even when facetiming let me go ahead and show you guys an example of that right now so we're gonna go ahead and facetime this phone and we're gonna go ahead and accept it and you guys will see what I'm talking about right now. And what you can do here is you can go ahead and go back to the home screen and the picture in picture works the exact same way as if you were watching a video. You can also go ahead and hide this as well while going ahead and continue to text someone or writing some notes or basically anything else that you want to do while continuing to be on the FaceTime. So I thought this was really cool and I wasn't expecting it to be able to work this way, but I'm really happy it does. So that basically sums up the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, please smash the like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.